Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, you'll learn how easy it is to control BIOS FX2 with the MVAVE Chocolate MIDI controller. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need to download the Cube Suite editor to your desktop from the QVAVE website. Go to the link in the description and follow the download instructions. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. For our tutorial, we'll be using a combination of long and short presses to control BIOS FX2. Using the long press function, pedal A will go to preset 3. Pedal B will go to preset 8. Pedal C will go to preset 12 and pedal D will go to preset 16. Using the short press function, pedal A will toggle the delay. Pedal B will toggle the reverb. Pedal C will toggle the boost. And pedal D will toggle the wah pedal. Let's begin setting up the controller in the Cube Suite program. When you launch the Cube Suite program on your desktop, you will be presented with this screen. To set up BIOS FX2, check Advanced Custom Mode. Select foot switch A and check mode, step short or step long. When you check this box you'll see a second box appear that is labeled bank B. Whatever you program in bank A will be executed when you step on the pedal and release it. Whatever you program in bank B will be executed when you step on the pedal and hold it. Let's begin by setting up pedal A to change to preset 3. If nothing is in the bank B box, click add, then double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. The chocolate controller sends PC messages 0 through 127, so the numbers you enter must be one less than the preset you wish to go to. Since we want to go to preset 3, we must enter the number 2. Click OK to save it. Now go to Bank A and double-click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. We'll enter CC number 1 in the Data 1 field and a value of 1 in the Data 2 field to activate the CC. Let's repeat the previous procedure for Pedal B. Select Foot Switch B and Check Mode, Step Short or Step Long. Double-click the entry in Bank B and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. Since we want to go to preset 8, we must enter the number 7. Click OK to save it. Now go to Bank A and double-click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. We'll enter CC number 2 in the Data 1 field and a value of 1 in the Data 2 field. Click OK. Now let's go to Pedal C. Select Foot Switch C and Check Mode, Step Short or Step Long. Double-click the entry in Bank B and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. Since we want to go to Preset 12, we must enter the number 11. Click OK to save it. Now go to Bank A and double-click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. We'll enter CC number 3 in the Data 1 field and a value of 1 in the Data 2 field. Click OK. Finally, let's program Pedal D. Select Foot Switch D and Check Mode, Step Short or Step Long. For MIDI type, select PC. Since we want to go to preset 16, we must enter the number 15. Click OK to save it. Now go to Bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. We'll enter CC number 4 in the Data 1 field and a value of 1 in the Data 2 field. Click OK. The last thing we need to do is to set the expression pedal. Select expression pedal and click interface. Double click the entry and enter 11 for data. 
The loosened value is the value of the pedal when it is fully open. Enter 127. The step on value is the value of the pedal when it is fully closed. Enter 0. Click OK. Close the interface and exit the editor. You're now done programming the controller. Let's set up BIOS FX2. Before we start, we must first go to settings in the menu and click audio settings. Scroll to MIDI inputs and toggle USB MIDI. When you're done, close the dialog box. Now, if you step and hold pedal A, BIOS FX2 will go to preset 3. Step and hold pedal B and BIOS FX2 will go to preset 8. Step and hold pedal C and BIOS FX2 will go to preset 12. Step and hold pedal D and BIOS FX2 will go to preset 16. To toggle the delay, right click on the pedal and select assignment. Click learn in the toggle row and press and release pedal A. You'll see the MIDI received CC1 message. Now when you step on pedal A, it will toggle the effect on and off. Repeat this process for the reverb and the boost effect. For the wah pedal, right click on the pedal and select assignment. Click learn in the toggle row, press and release pedal D. Click learn in the wah row and step on the volume pedal until you see the MIDI received message. Now you will be able to activate and operate the wah pedal. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.